it's Sasa and today I'm going to show you guys how to put together this outfit. It's um, E-Tech's outfit in the music video uh, Sexy Free and Single. It's the Super Junior's latest um, album. And so this is just a grey basic tank top. Um, these are my regular um, double, double pants but I just did like a different ending here. Um, gloves, neck choker and that's about it. It's really simple. Okay, so for the pants, this is my regular Haram uh, Dabu Dabu pants and all I did was the length, I just cut it shorter. It's pretty much exactly the same thing, just the length is shorter. And instead, these pants will be rolled up and this will sit like around the knee level. With the right sides together, you want to sew the um, outer leg seam and the inner leg seam right here. And I'm using this red fabric, but I want the black to be front, that's why it's the reverse. And over here, you can see I added like this extra black because what we're going to do from the other side, we're going to roll this up to create like the rolled pants trim and I want to make sure it looks black so I added this extra uh, black to cover up the red underneath. Of course if you have your black fabric there's no need to do this extra step right because then you'll already be black and then you can just roll it up like this and then you'll have the leg trim. So this part can be kind of confusing if you've never made pants before. Okay so you have the two legs right the outer leg seam and the inner leg seam is done so what you do you take one of them you turn them right side out like this, this is the black that I want Okay, and so you take the other one. Sorry, you take the, the one that's the right side. You're going to place this one in the leg of the other one. Understand? So here it's the leg. You have the leg. Your hand is to the bottom where the foot would go. Take this and place it inside the other leg. Okay, so now you have the, this is where the crotch is. You should be right sides together. See, so have black on both sides. If it, you have it something like this, then that's incorrect. Make sure that the right sides are together. You start pinning from the center. You go all the way out. And same on both sides. Then you sew this crotch. How to do um, the elastic to make it even, right? Because see, look, this hole is much bigger than this, so you have to stretch this while you're serging it, okay? There's, well, if you don't want to do it this way, you can also do the casing way, where you take this, you fold this down, you sew here, and then you fish this around. I don't do that way because um, this way is a lot faster. That's it. That's really one of the main reasons. It's much faster and once this is sewn on to finish the hem it's really easy because you already have the distance and then it'll be nice and just, But putting the casing away is also really nice. It's a perfect nice finish but this is faster. So you have the elastic. You're going to divide this into four portions. So you get like a marker. So you draw like a mark here. Take this. Fold this in half. Right now, you're gonna put a mark on the other one because we're dividing this thing into four sections. If you have longer elastic, you can also do it eight sections, which will make it more even. So now you take these two dots, put them together, and then you get the other dots on the other two ends. Put this all the time. Okay. Now this is divided into four even sections. You're gonna do the same for the pants. Right. So we mark the dots. Right, marked around, and then when you sew, this lines up with this dot, and then you find the next dot, and you know how far you need to stretch it. So then you'll have it even all the way around, or sometimes if you too stretch here, this will be, then it will look really lopsided. And the next, what you want to do, you want to try on the pants, and you have the length here. What you want to do is fold this up one, fold this up again, and right, sorry, right, ah, right here, you want to sew down on both sides, so this side, and on the other side too. So once again, all right. Fold up one, fold up two, and you'll sew right across this edge. Here's the finished pants. We've got the rolled in here. Low baggy crotch, elastic waistband. You know those gloves, but they're actually more like kind of like black thing on top of his hand, but whatever. We're going to make fingerless gloves, so I choose my hand. You want to make sure you cut it bigger because your hand is 3D, right? It's not a flat. Um, so here, cut one, cut two. That's for one hand. Do it twice. You sew here, around, here. Down here, here, here. There's no point in finishing the edges, just leave them raw. Uh, with this lycra, it's not going to fray anyways. Ah, check my webbing. My frog. Fish. Okay, anyways. Um, what I do before, you don't cut the, um, in between the fingers off yet. You leave it as is. Then you sew it, and then after you trim it. Because if you try and cut it first, it's really hard to pin it and keep the fabric together. The neck checker, all I did was get a piece of elastic and just measure it around your neck and then zigzag the ends together. Um, he has this kind of like thicker, a little bit thicker with like studs on it. If you can find that, that's great. 